Thanks very much. Right, if you've got young children or grandchildren, you'll probably know they're pretty tech savvy these days on quite an alarming scale. Depending on what age they are, you might have seen them on social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, there's also Instagram. Children are actually supposed to be 13 before they're allowed to use many social media websites, but a Congress survey for BBC Newsround has found that more than three quarters of 10 to 12 year olds questioned say they already have a social media account. Well, Jim Rowe runs at Blooming Social Media in Yeovil. Morning to you, Jim. Morning, Claire. Is this worrying? Uh, yes, it is, uh, and I definitely feel concerned for parents that don't truly understand how social media works. Is it surprising to you that we're talking about children of this age? Not really. They, that, that age group will look up to their peers, will look up to their parents and they'll see them using social media. The average adult is using social media between two and three hours a day. They see them do it, they want to replicate that, they want to join in, they want to be part of the gang. So I can totally understand why that age group uh, are getting around the rules and wanting to be there with everybody else. Do you think the parents, or you know, let's bring in grandparents here as well, do you think they're actually knowing what the children are getting up to online? That's where I, I feel the, the real risk is, it's, it's the parental side of it, is that the parents truly don't understand the technology themselves, so they can't parent effectively, then leaving their child at risk. So what are the rules then? What can parents, grandparents do here to monitor this? Well, the easiest way is to learn how to use the social media channels themselves, then only let the ch children use the social media channels they feel confident about, and make sure that as a parent or a grandparent, they have to friend you. And the second rule we have at home, because we have a 13 year old daughter, is that she must, at any time that we ask, give us her technology and we can check what she's been saying and what's been said to her. Do you think this was always inevitable, just considering where technology has got to these days? Of course, and I'm sure there was a very similar debate, you know, 30, 40 years ago when we all started getting home phones. I remember my sister, at uh, 12, 13, used to hog the phone. In fact, my dad used to lock the phone so she couldn't use it. And there was always the concerns then around private privacy and who they were talking to. And I think we're just having that debate again. Do you think it's going to get worse? Uh, I think it will. And I think there's higher risk. But thankfully, uh, parents, that are, uh, people that start to be parents now have grown up in this social media age. So they have a much better understanding. Yeah. I mean, places like, you know, blooming social media that you run, can parents, grandparents come to you and sort of say, look, I've seen this, I don't understand this, can you help me out? Yeah, we're constantly giving advice through family, friends and people off the high street. You know, there's no excuse not to understand how social media channels work these days. Just simply go onto YouTube, type the name of the channel, there's lots of advice. Uh, so it's, it's more, I think, a, a concern to me that parents aren't taking the time to learn. Yeah, Jim, that's interesting. Thank you very much. That's Jim Rowe there, who runs Blooming Social Media from Yeovil. In an hour's time, I'll chat to the head teacher of Wookie Primary School about what they're doing to keep children. Thank you, Jim. That was great. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry for the confusion with the Skype. That was a great chat, though. No worries. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Bye.